Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem one in chapter nine. In this chapter, we will talk about the leader momentum. At this problem, you can see it tells us we need to find the force act on the rocket, and this rocket pull the gases, and the right of this uh, uh one thousand three hundred kilogram per second. What that means? So first we write it. That means, uh. The mass changes for every certain of time. So that means the mass changes for one second is just one thousand three hundred kilogram. Do you agree? And then the final velocity, the finally the gas getting the velocity is four point five uh, times ten power four meter per second. And initially this gas, the velocity is zero because this. Um, gases is inside of the rocket, and then the rocket just pull it out, right? See, this is the final velocity. This is initial velocity for this part of the gas, and this is a change of the mass divided by time taken. Now we need to find the force. So how can we do that? We can consider what we learned in this chapter. At the very beginning of the chapter, we talk about the change of the momentum divided by time taken is the force. Applied on this object. Do you agree? Yes. So this is the first uh, equation we learned in this uh, chapter. The change of the momentum. You can see this one, and uh, divided by time taken is a force. So that means a force times the time taken equal to change of the momentum. So the momentum final momentum m v minus initial momentum m v naught. The in this equation we can get the force equal to this function. And then you can see we can do that. The v naught is zero, so we input the known quant known quantities. So it's only the mass times v divided by delta is arrived, and the mass divided by delta is given. So all this quantity is given, so we get the final answers. Thank you.